water and food systems. An interstellar mission would require tons of drinking water, food, equipment, space, materials, and supplies to store, preserve, use, and recycle their waste. And the bulk and mass that these resources will require would be gargantuan, not only because of the large size of the crew of an interstellar mission, but also because of the long, long flight ahead of them. Not only these, but the crew will likely have offspring, the next generation, who will also require nurture from water and food. And gathering water and food from destinations en route is hardly feasible and would only further complicate and lengthen the mission by unacceptable margins. Our technical ability at extracting water from space destinations is precisely null. And our skills at producing food away from Earth are at best in their primitive stages. So the problems presented by our need for water and food in space are tremendous, to put it mildly. It is estimated that the water required for a 40-year space voyage for a crew of six would be from 44 to 175 metric tons, depending on a 90% recycling efficiency and on water use restrictions from limited to moderate. 40 years, of course, is likely not enough time to complete a voyage to Alpha Centauri with current propulsion. So the water mass required in reality would be many times this amount. But even considering this amount, up to 175 metric tons, brings swift doubts to any plans for interstellar travel. Recall that our best and largest rockets can't lift more than around 50 metric tons of total payload. So the figures bring hopelessness when we consider the true requirement for water alone for a small crew on a deep space mission. If we were able to mine water from the moon or other solar system bodies, the task of lifting it from Earth would be alleviated, but the mission would become magnitudes more costly and complicated and time would be added to the voyage. A lot more time. Also, it must be considered that water requires bulky and heavy storage tanks and complex and bulky systems to harness it, treat it, recycle it, and dispense it. Water in space also needs to remain warm so it can stay liquid, and space is bone-chilling cold. Heating water is energy-intensive, and energy is an expensive resource away from our or any other sun. Although water may double as a radiation shield, it must be pumped and kept stored around the living areas of the crew, a complex and resource-intensive task. For this, containers need to remain watertight and heated at all times, consuming resources and energy every hour of the mission. Sadly, we utterly lack the propulsion and payload capacity to get the amount of water needed to space. And we lack the advanced storage systems to store the water, even if we got it to space. And although we have some experience recycling water, our recycling efficiency is not enough to limit the water amount needed for long voyages. Lastly, we lack the technology and experience in harnessing water from space or other heavenly bodies.